Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury, Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I want to show you today is a way of finding north by using a method called the angular differential method. And I'm going to go kind of slow with this because it's a little bit complicated. The first thing you need to understand is how do you tell approximately what time of day it is if you're not wearing some kind of watch. The way you do that is you tuck your thumb under your hand and you raise your hand up till it's underneath the sun. And then you count those hands down, just like this, till you reach the horizon. And so each finger represents 15 minutes. Each full hand represents one hour. If you understand what time the sun rises and sets, where you're operating at in that time of year, then you can discern what time of day it is fairly easily. Okay, so using that method, I've got one, two, three, four hands to the horizon line. So that means I've got four hours until dark. Knowing that it gets dark around seven o'clock, that means it's pretty close to the three o'clock time frame right now. Now, understanding what time of day it is helps us because we need to realize that the clock, the basic clock is set up in a 24 hour increment at 15 degrees per hour. And that's based on the movement or rotation of the earth and apparent movement across the sky of the sun which is about 15 degrees every hour. So if we are three hours past the noon time, noon being the point when the sun is the most southern in the sky, so you have a direct north-south line. And if we're three hours from that, that means we are 45 degrees differential from noon. Now let's look at how to figure that out on the ground. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna get ourselves a few sticks, three or four is going to be enough. And we're going to put one stick in the ground so that it casts a shadow. Try to get that stick as straight up down as you can get it. Now, what we want to do is our eyes are pretty well calibrated to understand 90 degree angles and 45 degree angles. And we can divide 45 degree angles into three equal spaces to get 15 degree angles. So we can guesstimate pretty well. So what we're going to do first is we're going to lay another stick in the ground at a 90 degree angle to our shadow currently. Understand that if it's afternoon, that shadow is going to be facing to the east and we need to adjust it west and just the opposite in the morning. So we're going to lay a stick in the snow here at what appears from our eyes to be 90 degrees to the shadow. Now, we've already said that we figure three o'clock is three hours, which is 45 degrees. That makes it real simple today because now all we have to do is split that 90 in half and we have 45 degrees. Remember that we're trying to adjust this shadow back from where it was when it was at noon, which was straight up and down. So we're adjusting from the shadow here and putting it back where it would have been at noon. And 45 degrees would be the center of this 90. Now we can take a compass and we can verify our findings. Okay, so laying a compass down there, we are less than 10 degrees off of magnetic north in just a quick guesstimation to find northern direction. And as long as we repeat that same methodology every time, we're going to get the same results if we don't have a compass. Now, for sake of purpose, if it was a different time and it was 2 o'clock instead of 3, and we couldn't do it with a convenient 45-degree angle, we had to figure out what the difference is at 30 degrees or 15 degrees. Then we just divide this angle three times. So we would go 1, 2, 3. Okay, guys, remember when you're talking about primitive navigation, it's never gonna be perfectly exact. It's probably never gonna match your compass because you're talking about the difference between solar north-south and magnetic north. So don't worry too much or get hung up about that. Understand that there's quick ways and easy ways that you can find a pretty close general northern direction and you can extrapolate the other three cardinal directions from that, but you don't necessarily have to wait for something like a shadow stick. Remember that even with the shadow stick method, you have to really wait to be accurate until the shadows are equal length. It's not as easy as just sticking a stick in the ground, waiting 10 or 20 minutes and put another rock in the ground, wait another 10 minutes, put a rock in the ground and call it good for an east-west line. It's 
not going to be accurate that way. The shadows need to be the same length, so you'd have to watch that shadow stick from say 10 to two, so that those two shadows would be the same length, and that would give you an accurate east-west line. This method you can do in less than 30 seconds. I appreciate your views, I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends, and I'll be back with more as soon as I can, guys. Thanks. Thanks.